Hello friends. Welcome to Basic Science. Today our topic is crop production and management. Plants are our lifeline. We get so many things from plant like food, oxygen and clothes and so many different uh, articles also. We know very well that plants make their own food by the process which is known as photosynthesis. But we, the human beings, are directly or indirectly depend on plants for our food. Earlier, the people were nomadic. They moved here to there in search of food and shelter. With time, they became civilized and started agricultural practices. And also, they grow different type of plants like wheat, rice, etc. So. Our topic is crop production. So first we have to understand what is the meaning of crop. Crop is a same type of plant which are grown on a large area or a large scale. It means crops are a plant which are grown in a large area, large scale. They are known as crops. In India, there are different type of weather. So there are mainly two types of cropping patterns and these cropping patterns are known as Kharif crops and Ravi crops. Kharif, they are raining crops, it means they grow between June to September, they need lot of water. And the example of these type of crops are paddy, maize, groundnut and cotton. And Ravi crops, they grow from October to March and the example of these Crops are wheat, gram, pea and mustard. There are some tasks in agricultural practice in which some steps are taken to grow a crop. There are seven steps for a successful agricultural practice. And these are preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizer, irrigation, protecting from weeds, harvesting and storage. In this video, we will discuss these all practices step by step. So first we will start from preparation of soil. Yes, so the first step of crop production is preparation of soil. You can see this soil. It is very hard and in this soil we cannot grow any crop. So for that the loosening of soil is very important. Why it is very important we will discuss here but first we, sh we should see that the earlier people, the earlier farmer used plow to loosen the soil and this plow is made up of wooden handle and sometimes it is made, the lower portion is made up of metal or sometimes it is made up of wood. So they use this wooden plow to loosening the soil. Nowadays, farmer use tractor with cultivator and when they move this cultivator in the field the soil loosen after some time yes so now you can see the soils become very loose and the lumps like that or stones sometimes it uh, it crushed or it removed from the soil because they are not good for the preparation of crop production of crop so this soil become loose why it is important to lose the soil it is very important to lose the soil because in loose uh, if the soil is very loose then the root of the plant easily penetrate the soil and the water the volume of water and air is good in loose soil also there are so many animals like earthworm and different type of animals which are present in soil and which are very friendly to the farmers. They turn over the soils and if the soil is loosed so they can easily survive in this loosed soil. And also when the plant grow in this type of soils their roots are very strong because they have enough space to grow in this soil. So the loosening of soil is very important. 
after preparation of soil the most important step is sowing it is the most important part because farmers use healthy and good quality of seeds if they are not using good quality of seed they will not get good quality of crop also so this is very important process of crop production earlier the farmer used traditional method for the sowing with the use of funnel but now they use seed drill with the help of tractors the distance between the seeds should be very proper they should be very proper because if there is overcrowding the seeds will not get good quality of nutrition from the soil and they should also cover uh, by the soil to prevent them birds or other type of animals the next step is adding manure and fertilizer plants need nutrients like us soil provide nutrient to the plant but when the farmer cultivate crops again and again without leaving the field uncultivated after some time the land became poorer in nutrients so that farmer add manure to replenish the soil manures are organic substances which we get from the decomposition of plant and animal waste manure enhances water holding capacity of soil and help to grow friendly microbes so they spread some manure in the soil to replenish the soil fertilizers are chemical substances and it provide better yielding capacity of crop but excessive use of fertilizer make the field less fertile because generally fertilizers are made up of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium excessive use of fertilizer make the soil very poorer in nutrients so we should not use so much fertilizer we should use manure some farmers they also use crop rotation crop rotation they use wheat plant and after that they grow some legumes legumes are the plants which have some microbe microbes which are known as rhizobium in their roots and these rhizobiums are able to fix the atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into in the nitrogenous substances these nitrogenous substances are very important for the plants so the third step of crop production is adding manure and fertilizer the next step in the crop production is called irrigation supply of water to the plant is called irrigation and earlier the farmer used different type of traditional method and these are known as digli moat moat chain pump by using this they supply the water to the plant this is a traditional method of irrigation and next is rahat so these are four traditional method of irrigation now the modern method of irrigations are sprinkler and drip method in a sprinkler you can see here the nozzles are attached to the pipe and these pipes are attached to the water supply resources like well or other things and from here the water comes from these nozzles and they supply water equally to the plants and also the wastage of water is very low in modern method of irrigation the second is uh, the second uh, type is drip method in this method you can see the water drip by drip reach to the plant and this is very useful method in those area where the water is very low so by this method the water directly goes to the root of the plant so this type of modern method the sprinkler method and the drip method is very useful to 
protect the to uh, save the water the next process the next step of crop protection is protecting from weeds weeds are some undesirable plants you can see here the weeds are grown with the plants the these undesirable plant are known as weeds and their removal is very important because they take all the nutrient from the soil and make the quality of crop very poor and sometimes also they are very poisonous the weeds are uprooted by hands farmer sometimes uprooted these weeds by hands or sometimes they use weedicides to remove, remove these weeds weeds should be removed before before the flowering stage because if their food formation or flowering stage are there then they grow very fast so removal of weeds should be before flowering the second last step of crop production is harvesting harvesting is time to celebrate after 3 to 4 months of hard work farmers get relaxed and it is time to get reward sometimes farmer use sickle like structure sickles to cut the crop in a small area but in a large area they use combine combine it has both the har the harvester and a thresher harvesting means cutting the crop and threshing means separating the seeds separating the seeds from the chaff the last step of crop production is storage crop grains should be safe from the moisture insects rats and microorganism so before storing seed dried in the sun or in the hot air to re reduce moisture content the moisture can be attract the different type of microorganism and rats and different type of animals also so this prevents the attack of microorganism and pest so my dear friends from this video you can understand that the production of crop is very tough process so please do not waste food don't waste food it's like wasting one of the most precious things given by god to us thank you so much